What's going on, everybody? I'm Dharma, and this message is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, anybody that was drawn to this message. The links for the extended will be in the box below. If you want just one, you can get it on Vimeo. And if you want all of the extended is unlimited, you can get that on members. Plus, we do the daily moons and the yoga and stuff over there. Uh, if you want your cards read personally right now, join us on betwixt.me. I feel like those are the cards I'm going to start with. The Emperor, Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. So, you have an Emperor, probably really decorated. They probably stand up really, really straight. They're like a watcher. This one has been an Emperor for a long time. They were like a boy Emperor. This is like an older man who became an emperor like in their 20s. And they are, there's 10 of cups to be had and you have a knight of wands which is fast moving. Okay, there's something going on with this emperor. There's a king of, this emperor is probably a king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Aries. Um, they could be kind of bald, but kind of not. They could be a raven, but you don't know it. And the magician, or you can have whatever you like. It's the emperor and temperance. I always get that. Um, but it's like this emperor is looking at Sagittarius, right? There's temperance as a magician, as a magical bitch, and also as where their happiness is. Except they are this like standoffish emperor. And I'm not sure who the Knight of Wands is yet, whether that's Sagittarius with their bow and arrow pointing at the emperor. It's the emperor. And you might say something to them that causes them to drop their jaws. There could also be three men. One that is a raven, king of swords. One that's an emperor and they have like a gray beard. And they don't know what to say to you. And one that deals with wood and they are it's almost like she's she could be lining them all up and there's a king of pentacles too there's one in the background what there's four four men and we have saggy over here as temperance nine of coins and it's like the race is on this is a very 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 single Sagittarius or a single woman in a male Sagittarius life and there are two emperors two kings they are <coughs> they're all in line that's and she's like this is Sag guarding the door it's like I am manifesting my best life I'm having peace and temperance I'm happy. Now, in this particular Ten of Cups, she's with somebody. Uh, it could be an Aquarius because there's the star, but it feels more like, because in these images, she's by herself. She has an idea or an image of what it is that she wants. And there are, it's like, it's the gathering of the fucking men. See, but then you have, there's a wild man. I keep getting that for Sag, that this rando wild man is going to be coming out. But this is like, this is the one that she talks to or wants to talk to. They could be ripped. They could have some kind of old ancient Viking antler reference. They could be really into like health and wellness. They, there might be feathers around or fur. Good night. That is a lot of gentlemen. That is a lot of gentlemen callers. But there's one. 
King of Swords. And I think I got something like that in the moon reading today, too, where all these men were lining up except Sagittarius, want, or um, the person in that reading, wanted the beast. Beauty loves the beast. What is this Knight of Wands? Because it looks like, don't come near me. It's communication. It could be, you could be talking to all of them. Okay, so let's go one by one. What do we say to the gray bearded one? To Emperor Greybeard, what's being told to them? Because they're standing there with their mouth open like they don't understand what happened. They could be family. But there's karma here. This one there's karma. It's fate. There is cycles. It's almost like with that particular emperor, you know exactly what to expect. And what about the emperor in the woods? You're probably going to end it with them. The coffin. You probably just aren't talking to them. They could have a beard. What about the King of Swords that is kind of bald or whatever? They have too many options. They're, they always have too many options. And what about this King of Pentacles that kind of stands off in the background? of pentacles that stands off in the bed. P could be relevant. They could be really clean cut, but they might drink a lot. And they, they don't know what to do with you. That's kind of why they stand off in the background. So it's like this, this feminine over here is like pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Line them up to knock them down. Because <laughs> what is her view of happiness over here? This Ten of Cups. Because she doesn't have to pick any of them. She wants passion. And sexual energy. And this love and this romance and whatever. And also the one that fits the best for her is this one. With the feathers and the, and the, the Viking. That makes you spit out your drink. <coughs> we are like, you get this unexpected random text from this one. And that's, <coughs> excuse me, and you might be like, oh my God. Probably because this one brings out this kind of emotion in you. They can make you spit a drink out just by texting you and saying hello. And it, depending on whatever this conversation is, she turns around and shoots down all of these fellas. This is the one that she manifested. This is the one that she had asked for. <clears throat> and here they are showing up and it shocks the <coughs> shit out of you. It makes you want to... You might, like... I said it's the Viking and about... I don't know... It's forward movement, but they text you. Whoever this one is that's constantly on your mind that you hold space for, they reach out. Could be like two days from now. <clears throat> Magician. <coughs> Ten <to> go. 
until you're like, oh my God, I'm a master manifester. I am a master manifester. You're like, I called for them and they totally showed up. I can't believe that happened. What is it that they say? They're on their text, like what do they say? Wow. <coughs> right, Ace of Cups. I miss you. I've been thinking about you. I've been watching you. Five of Coins, Tower, in the Judgment. They, it feels, it does feel like an apology. But they're like, but I'm here now. They could have hand tattoos. They could have air and fire in their chart. But they are like, they show up with the Ace of Cups. But what does that even mean? I mean, what's the point in that? This person is being very chivalrous. And they are setting out a white rabbit. And you're like worried because you're like, I know this could go either way. This could be really, really good for me or this could be really, really bad for me, but it's saying don't assume anything about this person. Just don't assume anything. Flamingos. Because they are charming and they are a lover of yours. This is a union. And you guys have been doing this long term, but they, the thing is, is that you guys are two birds that, birds of a feather. And they are, the attraction is real. It is a lot. Is there an invite to go anywhere or? Anamkara, but you're, this is, you guys are like best friends. And I just saw the olive branch. It's, I think it's just time to, it's time to reconnect. I don't know how long they've been gone for, or even if they have been gone, because you could have been interacting with this person on and off. <clears throat> and them, although you were single. You can talk to who the fuck you want to talk to if you're single, right? It's just nobody is as good as this one. Nobody will ever, there, this is temperance for temperance. This masculine is the one that she picks. And if it comes down to a choice and she gets to choose, she's going to choose them. And I think they probably know that. So somebody's going to take a leap, a leap of faith here. I keep seeing the fool and the ten of cups. They're going to take a, a leap of faith to have this interaction. And I'm not sure why it needs to be a leap of faith. They probably just waited too long. And now it's like, and plus they're like, it's the right thing to do is to reach out. I've been gone too long. It, it feels like they're saying I've been gone too long. And they might, uh, plain and simple, invite you to their house. Okay. But Ten of Cups, this person could have big ass gauged ears. Big old gauged ears. And this communication could come in on the internet and you've been patiently waiting for them. And that's probably why you kept, I mean, besides the fact that nothing good came out about these guys. This one doesn't know what to do with you. This one is nothing but a circular karmic contract. This one slams the door on you all the time and this one has a thousand girlfriends and you're like they probably don't like what you have to say but you're like I, you don't even necessarily need to be telling anyone 
that the reason it's a no is because you're holding out for this one. But that's what it is. She loves someone specifically and she's not just gonna take any old other option just because. She doesn't have to do that. So let's go to the extended and see um, what happens after this because there's a lot of Ten of Cups and a lot of happiness when this one comes back around, okay? The link for the extended will be in the box below to Vimeo or you can join us over on members. Till next time, have a good one.